gentlemen, live from the famous Acme Comedy Hollywood, it's Acme Saturday Night. Starring Diana Costa, Curtis Freisel, Leif Gantfort. Nick Greco, Dan Kane, Bill Kessler, Joseph Limbaugh, Melissa McQueen, Jen Parker, and Julie Whitner. Musical guest, Jocelyn Schofield. And your host tonight, Galen Gehring. And now, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome came to Acme Saturday night, my dream was to come back here and to host this show. So who says the dreams don't come true? <laughs> All right? Now most of you probably know me from Days of Our Lives, or maybe you don't know me. Great. Hey, yeah. sorry to interrupt. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, you, you have water, good. Yeah. I do, yeah. I, I, I got, do you need something? Because I'm... Uh, kinda, I mean... <laughs> Couldn't help but notice that there's plenty of water just laying around here for you. <laughs> yeah, see yeah. so a couple of bottles in the audience you could probably sit from. Um, yeah. yeah. Do you need water? Uh, I'm a little confused. Cause I'm, yeah, you know. you're offering absolutely. I mean, I'll, I'll take some of your water. I don't mind sloppy seconds. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying my water. I'm sure there's some other water uh, backstage or Is there? wherever. I Great. Know. I mean, all right, cool. I mean, if you see any more hot, tall glasses of water walking around, just, you know, <laughs> I'll take them. I'm thirsty. All right. Cool. Thanks, Nick. All right, Gail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was, uh, wow. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. Anyway, like I was saying, um, I'm on a soap. As you know, we don't get to do a lot of comedy, so this is fantastic for me yeah, to meet. Yeah, one more thing. Wow, really? Guys? Did you eat dinner yet tonight? Um, I was probably going to eat after the show. Good, you're going to yeah. eat after. Uh -huh. Okay. Right. Well, I mean, if you have any, you know, leftovers, you, know, <laughs> you don't want or something, you know, right, you can send them my way. I'll eat anything. Thanks, <laughs> mate. You know, Italian, Chinese, Canadian. You know, my, my tongue likes all the flavors from around the world. That's great. Cool. That, that's... Yeah. I mean, you probably get it offered to you all the time, like on and off set. I actually get it free on set. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. How do I get on a soap? <laughs> all right, well, I'm sorry. I'll let you continue. Uh, yeah. Remember me. I will. Nick. Yeah. Okay. Nick. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry about that. Uh, evidently, the cast just feels like they can come on stage during my monologue, which is yeah. kind of weird. <laughs> oh, my God. Are you serious? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> One more thing. Yeah. I will fuck any women you don't want. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. And, and seriously, any leftovers? I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> we had a great show for you tonight. <laughs> Jocelyn Schofield is here, so stick around. <laughs>
Weissman's office, how can they help you? One moment, please. Mr. Weissman, you have a phone call. I don't care who it's from. I told you not to interrupt me unless the people are here about my military contract. Very well. What? Very well. What? You need to take an ESL class. I cannot understand you. It's not like goddamn damn porn goes after a root canal. Very well. Mr. Weissman will have to call you back. Uh, hello, I'm uh, General Hadley McCormick Wirtz. I'm here about the Fort Pierce project. Okay. Please tell me someone is here. Who do you got for me? General Wirtz. What? What do you mean I have General Wirtz? <laughs> Jenny? Jenny Taylor. Yeah, what is it now? Is no one here? Jenny Taylor. Jenny Taylor. Ta Taylor. Jenny Taylor, yeah, I did it. Four accusations about my dinner report. Fuck you, real hilarious, y'all about smear now. Listen, you are not going to be quiet right now. Oh my God, what would I do to my regret? Mr. Weissman cannot see you right now. You'll have to come back. Hi, I'm here to see Mr. Weissman about the Fort Pierce project. Last name Dudess. D U D E S S E. Okay. First name okay. Lester. Okay. Okay. <laughs> For God's sake, what now? Just tell him Les is here. Les Dudess? Oh, you want to do this? You want to do this? <laughs> Maybe I should just come back later. That's it, good, that's it. Yes? I guess I owe you an apology. I just examined myself, and it turns out I do have genitals. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the heads up on that, but I still don't know how you do that. Could I get you to take a look at these? Hey guys, uh, I'm Leif Gamford. I'm the director of the show tonight. Woo! Thank you. Anyway, uh, you know, on the show we often do sketches about dating and uh, how awkward that can be. And I just, I just want to say on beha behalf of myself and the rest of the cast that uh, we want to tell you that, you know, um, it doesn't have to be that way. You know, you know, dating doesn't have to be a bad thing, you know. <laughs> We've all been on those dates that we'd rather forget, but don't stop yourself from putting yourself out there, you know, because there's a, there's a lot of single people, and I bet, you know, there's actually a lot of single people in this city. I bet there's a lot of single people here tonight, right? Is it single people? Raise your hand. Come on. Out and proud. <laughs> single people, yeah? So you're single, right? Yes. Single. <laughs> this guy here, you single? Is that what you said? Uh, Are you married? No. Single. See? <laughs> single? So, you know, maybe... You both are single, right? So, I mean, come on. No, no, no. You like to laugh. Yeah. He's obviously a connoisseur of fine comedy, you know? So maybe maybe you two should, oh, should they go on a date? I mean, what do, what do you guys think, huh? 
but come on, they're not married, so, <laughs> you know, you, you know, why not? You know, what I'm saying is, all I'm saying is, you know what, you know, do it, right? Have fun. You're not, you're not married. No, that, that's my point, because you know what? Before you know it, you're married 10 years, right? You got a kid that's six years old, and you don't have sex ever. Just saying kids aren't an aphrodisiac, so have fun while you can, right? Right, everybody just not married, not married, have fun. Just have fun. That's all I'm saying. So. Anyway, um, we're going to check in on our happy couple later here. Love connection for Acme, so sorry. <laughs> All right, this is a robbery. <laughs> Just be cool. We're out here in three minutes. Cool. Okay? Right. Yeah. Cool. This is clear. All right, let's do this. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> is that my face? What? Are you wearing a mask with my face? Yeah. Why? What the hell? Think about Why it. Why would man? you do that? Why would you wear a mask with Let my face? Let me explain to you. This is brilliant. All right, why would the cops be like, why is that guy wearing a mask with his own face? That doesn't seem right. So they're. You didn't rob this place, all right? <laughs> two minutes, two minutes! Shit, all right, let's get going. All right, let's get this money, Derek. What? So use my fucking name! What? My... Think about it, why would I use your name? Shut up! All right, get the cash. <laughs> but don't you be a hero. Not a hero. Oh, what are you doing? It's hot in here. What did your shirt say? What? God damn it! <laughs> what? It says I'm not Derek Parsons. I am not. Derek Parsons, it's brilliant. No, not brilliant. Far from brilliant. Why would I wear this shirt knowing that you're robbing a store with me? Shut up. <laughs> just... What the... Hi, jeez. Hey, did you see the shirt? No, Derek. <laughs> what? I mean, no, I didn't see his homemade shirt. Okay, I'm cool. Everything's cool. We're cool. Okay, all right, where's the shirt Where's the safe? It's under the counter, Derek Parsons. <laughs> ah, my fucking name. I'm sorry. It's a touch screen. Okay, got it. <laughs> okay, now, we were not the ones that robbed you, okay? Some other guys with the mask. Got it? Got it. Guys with masks, not Derek Parsons. <laughs> All right. All right, we're good. Okay. One last thing. Wait, is that my phone? What are you... Yeah, 911? Yeah. <laughs> the Main Street convenience store is being robbed right now by Derek Parsons. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing? Think about it. Why would you call in your own robbery and then lock your phone in the safe? It just doesn't make sense. You're being set up. No, that, that's right. the stupidest idea I've ever heard. Uh, Why would you do that to me? It's, Why? It's brilliant. You think the cops will catch on? No. Genius. <laughs> See? Absolute genius. No, right, not. One, one Again. More, one more thing. Ah! Oh, God! God! Get off my hand! Yeah, exactly. Why would you cut off your hand and leave prints everywhere? waiting room. I love this waiting room. I'm Candace. Albie. So what are you here for? Uh, filling you. I was gonna ask Dr. Siegel to euthanize me. <laughs> he won't do it. I asked him last week. <laughs> What are you listening to? Oh, just 
Goodbye, Earl, by the Dixie Chicks. <laughs> you like country? No, not really. Oh, right. You probably just like songs, songs about, about domestic, domestic violence. violence. <laughs> I thought that might be it. Do you want a grape? Oh, no, thank you. Is it because they remind you too much of the word rape? Yes. <laughs> I used to have that problem until I realized that grapes aren't like rape at all. <laughs> That's true, but they still make me uncomfortable. Yeah, me too. So what do you do for fun? I spend a lot of time alone practicing laughing because I don't, don't have, have a, a real, real laugh. laugh. Uh, yeah, or I watch reruns of Out of This World, starring Maureen Flanagan. Yeah. Yeah, me too. This magazine got a, this guy is on it, Channing Tatum, and I have no idea who that is. And you know what that makes me realize? that you're going to die because you're now one of those old people who doesn't know about pop culture. Uh, and soon you'll be in a nursing home eating a softer, softer version of ice cream. Of ice cream. <laughs> hey, what's your favorite movie about genocide? I've thought about this a lot. And it's either Schindler's List or The Killing Fields. The thing about The Killing Fields is I can't really tell, tell if the, the Cambodian, Cambodian language is a pronounced Khmer or Khmer. I heard that. Uh, Albie Martin, we're ready for you now. See you around. Yeah, later. <laughs> I don't think he saw us come in. The door's locked. So that means that door's the only way in or out. We're just gonna have to wait it out. Hope that he passes us by. Who the hell is that? And why is he trying to kill us? I don't have any idea. We just need to keep our fucking head screwed on. Hey, hey, you need to calm down. Stop screaming. Save ourselves. 
I'd fall down if I let go So I'll stay lost with my fingers crossed Hoping I can land up where I'm supposed to be When gravity takes the Pictures the stars paint for me I beckon and of what my life would be Had I only stayed on my feet No, thank you, please All stay lost with my fingers crossed Hoping I land up where I'm supposed to be Now Acme Comedy presents Real Weird Laws of Arizona. What do you think? Oh my gosh, I think those look great on you. I don't know. You don't think they make my ass look big? You know what I think, ladies? I think that in the state of Arizona, it's illegal for women to wear pants. What? What? I'll tell you what. Here going to jail! That's an actual law in Arizona. <laughs> and so I've got her, right? I don't want to say begging, but she was pretty insistent. You know? So I flip her over, I finish, right? And as she's getting her things, she says, get this, See you at work. Oh, oh no, oh, man. Uh, I had no idea she worked uh, here. Uh, uh, I could be, if I could be your pants for a day, man, you know. The, how do you do it? I don't do anything, man. I mean, they approach me. I, I just take, take what comes, you know? Literally. <laughs> Vaginas are really great. I 
really, really like vaginas. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Mike. Vaginas are great. So, uh, so, so have you bumped into her yet? No, not yet. I'm hoping to, though, because uh, maybe there's some afternoon delight in order, you know? <laughs> have you guys ever had, like, your penis in a vagina? <laughs> Yeah, you think, you know. Yeah, your penis is in the vagina and... That's it. That's <laughs> my favorite part. I really like that part. That's a good part. Yeah. I think we've all had our penis in a vagina, so... Oh. <laughs> Probably except Derek here. <laughs> oh man, Derek. We should try it. This is great. <laughs> They're kidding, I've had sex. Oh, that's good. <laughs> so you know then, I mean, God, when I think about it happening, it makes me smile. <laughs> Such a fun thing to do. Are you joking right now? I don't know. No, it's, I love it when I put my penis in a woman's vagina. That is no joke. <laughs> Feels really good. Yeah, of course it feels good. I, I, everyone knows that. <laughs> How many times have you had sex, Mike? A lot. A lot. It's like one of my favorite things to do. Because it's so fun. Well, do you have any uh, stories about it? <laughs> One time I had sex with this girl. <laughs> sex with this girl and... And it was great! <laughs> Are you sure you've had sex? You're acting kind of confused about it. I was just telling a story about me having sex. So was I. But yours didn't go anywhere. Oh yeah, it did. In the vagina. <laughs> and it was great. So that's that's your story. How is that a story? <laughs> what do you mean? It's not a story. What? How is that a story? What do you mean? How is that a story? Of course, it's a story. See, I mean, I. Maybe you haven't had sex, or I wouldn't have to explain it to you. I've had sex. Then you know what I'm talking about. Okay, the basic principle of sex, yes, I get it. But, you know, I, a sex story is usually, there's, it goes into more depth. Right, I mean, every sex story we have involves a penis and a vagina. I mean, that part is understood. But, you know, the reason we tell these stories is because of the other details. You know, the part that goes beyond that part. I don't see why. You don't see why? No, because like I said, the penis in the vagina, that's my favorite part. All the other stuff seems like it's just about getting to that part. That's the whole story as far as I'm concerned. And the girls are the only one who care about the other details because all those other details are just things we do to convince them to get to that best part. The penis in the vagina. <laughs> Pretty solid. It's a valid point. Yeah. Actually, yeah. Yeah. it is it's valid. It is the best valid. part about sex. Oh, one time I had this girl's. Well, I had my penis in her mouth. <laughs> yeah. It's a great it's story. Great, great yeah. story. <laughs> And now, Real Weird Laws of California. <laughs> oh, no you don't. In the state of California, it's illegal for a rooster to crow within the city limits. <laughs> oh, no you did not. You're going to jail. <laughs> That's
that's a real law in California. Where's Jimmy's teacher? Yeah, I, I don't know. The appointment was at seven. Aye, aye, Mr. and Mrs. Abernathy. So, you've come seeking an evaluation of little Jimmy, have ye? Let's pull up in the folder here. Jimmy. God damn it, God damn it. What be the problem? Cut, cut, we need a cut. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we cannot what? cut. It's, it's, a, it's a live show. Live, 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 live show. Leave another pirate snuck into a sketch. Sorry. What? Everybody. <laughs> sorry, everybody, oh. sorry. Sometimes. Pirates sneak into a sketch. It's, it happens. It's, it's uh, we can take. We can usually. Come on, out with yourself. Who be the pirate? <laughs> you be the pirate. Me? Nar. <laughs> Are you lying? Yar. I be the pirate. <laughs> now catch me, fair and square. Can someone come down here so we can continue the sketch? Leave. Yeah, just keep going. We're working on it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I want to see the pirate. Yeah. Let's see the pirate. Let's please, see. please, pirate. Regale <laughs> us with what's going on with our son Jimmy at school. Go oh, ahead. little no, 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 no. Jimmy, little Jimmy. Well, he be doing good with his reading. Needs a little work on his writing, but he's right proper with. Arithmetic. <laughs> okay, I changed my mind. Get him, get him out of here. You need to leave. You need to leave. Oh, leave. You need to leave. Hey, 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 come on. What is it? Come on, come on. Is that pirate booty? Come on. Well, give me the pirate booty. Come on. Give it to me. Come on. Diane, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You give it to me. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Give it to me. God, I'm sorry. He locked me in the bathroom. No, it's not your fault. We'll do, do it from the top. We'll do it from the top. Everybody from this in character. Okay, I'll be right. Okay, I'm your entrance. Right. Sorry. 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 Okay, okay. Hi, I'm Mrs. Jansen, Jimmy's teacher. Thanks for coming in. Hello, nice Hi. to meet you. Okay. Thank you. There is something that I would like to discuss with you about Jimmy and his academic studies. Excuse me, this is Principal Jensen. Some principal Jensen, you know, some. Uh, would Mrs. Jensen please report to the principal's office? What? Damn it, he's in the booth. Oh, uh, come on. I'm working out with the. Yeah, right. We're working on it. Yeah, let's just let's just plow through this. All right, fine. Okay, all right. Anyway, Jimmy has a tendency to break wind in class. Oh no! Yes, it's beginning to disrupt my teaching. And even the other kids are calling him Farty Farty McCrappin' Pants. <laughs> what? Why? Well, because not every one is a safe fart. Oh, I got God, it. get out! Seriously? Get out of the sketch. Uh, what? Oh, now hear me out. I just be here to swab the poop deck. Forget it. You guys are you're on your own. Forget it. I'm out of here. Good luck with everything, guys. See you later. Now? Are you happy you ruined the sketch? You ruined it. <laughs> Unbelievable! Unbelievable! Just cut the sketch. Just go to blackout. Forget it. You get the fuck out of here. Just block out the sketch. Oh no, you don't! Leave Gantfort! <laughs> 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 Well, what you gonna do? Get for me! 
about me, too. <laughs> Shut the front door. Oh my God, I can't believe I didn't guess that. <laughs> I know that one. Yeah. Okay, uh -huh. my turn. Okay. What do I love about you? No idea. That you're so... I'm kidding! Is it because I'm hot? Oh my god, you're doing to me again, Kate. Oh, yeah. oh, I can't believe that. I thought maybe you forgot or something. No, no, I'm not stupid. I'm just really, really hot. <laughs> oh, the line is just way too long. I'm just going to go home and make coffee. Yeah, it's ridiculous. That was so sad. So sad. She has to go home and make her own coffee. <laughs> I heard it makes me want to cry. Can't she just get to the front of the line and smile? Not everyone's teeth are as hot as ours. <laughs> Smiling just isn't an option for some, Kate. Yeah. This is making me really sad. Let's change the topic. Your choice. Okay. Okay. Um. Here's a brain teaser. Yeah. Okay. okay, you ready for this ready. one? Okay, let's say a guy. Uh huh, hot guy? Yeah, of course, a hot guy. Okay. Hello, <laughs> me. <laughs> okay, so let's say that he walks into a doctor's office right. and he wants to get some contact lenses, but the doctor's going to give him the contact lenses for free because okay. he's hot. Right, right, right. Got it. So, what does he pick out? Does he pick the green contact lenses or the blue ones to be hottest? Ooh, um. I'm gonna go with neither because his eyes are already so hot in its natural hazel color. <laughs> oh my god, how did you know that? <laughs> did I ask you this one before? No, no, I'm just really hot. spend a lot of time having to get chiropractic adjustments after whipping their heads around and look at us? <laughs> yes, Dan, I think that they do. But we can't feel bad because it's not our fault that we're this hot. Well, isn't it a little bit our fault, though, because we do Pilates? I am not going to stop doing Pilates because people have to go to the chiropractor from whiplash. <laughs> so we hold no responsibility for our hotness? Great hotness, does there come great responsibility? <laughs> oh, my head is hurting from this social quandary. Oh. What kind of new subject? New subject. New choose. Okay, my choice. Um, okay, this is a news trivia question. Very good, because I've been following up on my news. Lately. Okay. All right. So, if a really hot person wants to be even hotter by knowing a news story, yeah. But there are many newspapers to choose from. Do they choose the LA Times or the New York Times? I know this one. Okay. I know it. Okay. okay. Give it, give it. No newspaper, because the newspaper would cover too much of their hot face and their hot body, and the other people wouldn't be able to see their hotness. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you have a part right, but there's another part. No. Yes, come what? on, you're missing something. They wouldn't need to buy a newspaper at all because someone would have given them a 50-inch flat screen because they're so hot and they can watch the news at home. Oh my god, that's a tricky one. I know. So devilish. Oh, shoot. I'm almost out of coffee. Me too. Okay, do you want to get it or should I? Oh, I'll get it. Okay. Excuse me, excuse me. Yeah, I don't work here. Yeah, I know. <laughs> would you mind getting us refills? We don't want to lose our place on the patio, boo. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll stop right away. I'll get it right away. Okay. Uh, Special. 50 chicken nuggets for $9.99. Who would want to eat 50 nuggets? I could eat 50 nuggets. No, she said who would want to eat 50 nuggets. Nobody can eat 50 nuggets. You just said yesterday that Nick can eat anything. He 
ever eat 50 nuggets? Nobody ever eat 50 nuggets. Hey, Bubba Nuggets, we got a bet here! My boys say he can eat 50 nuggets. He can eat 50 nuggets. Yeah, but in how long? A minute. I believe I will take part of that wager. I'm gonna hand it over, boy. I'm gonna hand that over. Ready, champ? Go! Oh, I think it's real chicken. Oh, God. What was my time at? those nuggets that he puked on? I thought he was finished. <laughs> <laughs> From the Acme News World Headquarters in Hollywood, this is the Acme Saturday Night News with Dan Kane. Hi everybody, and welcome to the Acme Saturday Night News, the world's least trusted news source. I'm Dan Kane. <laughs> Our top story tonight, the massive heat wave that has been plaguing the Midwest and the South for over a week has hit the East Coast, which means it's bigger news now. <laughs> New York reached a record 104 degrees and the electric utility Con Edison sent automated phone messages to customers telling them to turn off non-essential electrical equipment such as televisions, computers, microwaves, and air conditioners. Those are the things you're supposed to turn off so they can keep the electricity on. If you can't use those things, who cares if the electricity is on? Of course, Con Edison sent the automated messages using a room full of computers cooled by their huge air conditioners. It was even hotter in New Jersey, which hit a record 108. It was so hot that for the first time, the cast of Jersey Shore had a meltdown that was actually kind of believable. Also in the severe heat, Snooki's bronzer permanently fused with her skin. She's okay, in fact, she was thrilled. Apparently the same thing happened to John Boehner. Yes, you know the House Speaker John Boehner, and you may have heard that yesterday, he walked out of the debt ceiling talks at the White House. That's right, he walked out on the President of the United States, and apparently Obama was pissed. No, not that Obama, the tough one. I think she's going to make somebody cry. <laughs> ah, the debt crisis talks continue in Washington. And here with an in-depth look at the debt, ceiling, the debt ceiling debate is Acme's own Jen Parker. Hi, Jen. Hi, Dan. How are you doing? So uh, what can you tell us about the debt ceiling debate? Well, Dan, I got to say, Dan, this topic sounded real boring. <laughs> so instead of researching the debt ceiling, I decided to take my news bit in a different direction. Tonight, I'm introducing a new, hopefully recurring news bit called Hot Dudes I've Made Out With. Uh, I see. Jen, that uh, doesn't really sound like a news story, and it's definitely not your assignment for this week. So, Oh, oh and yet you have a logo already for this news segment. Where, how did you even? OK, all right. So hot dudes that uh, you've made out with. First on the list of dudes that I've exchanged makeouts with, this guy. Uh, okay. I mean, maybe we didn't technically make out, but he went to my high school and we're Facebook friends. Uh-huh, so you really never have made out with him. Whatever, right? it counts. Okay. Next on the list of hot dudes I've made out with, Terminator 3 star, Kristana Loken. Okay, uh, Jen. Uh, I know, I know no. what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking. It's not a dude, Jen, it's a girl, but whatever, she's hot. Uh-huh, but uh, didn't you make out with her when she hosted this show it was in a sketch? You were a character, not still you. Still counts, still counts. 
<laughs> Next dude on the list of people I've totally tongue boned. And I toast Galen Gang. Okay, no, 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 Jen. You're definitely lying. He's married and he's not interested. I, I know you did not do that. Counts, I'm counting it. I'm counting it. All right, take a look at this fine fella, because we made out. Uh, that's, uh, that's a picture of you in a, in a mustache, really bad picture. No, I know. But Dan, seriously, if I were a dude, I would totally make out with myself, you know? Uh-huh, I, I kind of know, but no, no, I don't know. Uh, all right, so Counts. you're, oh, Ooh, you're out. check it out, ladies. Guess who I made out with President Barack Obama? No, 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 you, you did not, you did not. Why you gotta block me, bro? Why you, why you gotta sound so ghetto when you talk about the president? <laughs> All right. So, uh, Jen, you've never met the man. I know this, but uh, you have been not, definitely not made out with him. I, I know this for sure. So, it sounds like the only person that you have made out with on your hot dudes list is actually not a dude. It's a girl, and that was in a sketch, Kristana, right? So. That's Nick! Nick! Come here, I gotta talk no, to you! You don't have to come I gotta on, talk Nick. to you! Uh, no, I gotta right. talk to you! Have to, I, what the fuck? Uh, what are you doing? I count! Okay. It counts! Add it to the list! It counts! I'm counting it! I'm counting okay. it! We made out! Jen made Parker, out. everybody! We made out! <laughs> Jen Parker and Nick Greco. Glad to see she takes her assignments that seriously. This week marked the final landing of the space shuttle Atlantis bringing an end to the U.S. shuttle program. There has been a lot of debate about NASA's decision. Presidential candidate Michelle Bachman says she's in favor of the cost-cutting move, even though, in her words, it means researchers will have to find another way to get to Antarctica. <laughs> no, she didn't actually say that, but isn't it fun to have a new Sarah Palin? <laughs> Come on, who's with me? All right, it's good for my job. Speaking of cost-cutting, Congress has not yet reauthorized funding for the FAA, which expired last night, and as a result, the agency will lay off thousands of airport workers. FAA Secretary Ray LaHood says the layoffs will probably not affect air traffic controllers, and with any luck, the funding crisis will be over before they even wake up. Oh, let him rest, come on. And now it's time for this week's book review with Julie Whitner. Come on out here, Julie. Thank you. Hey, how you doing? Dan. Welcome back to the Acme News. Thank you so much. I am so excited to talk about my review okay. of this book called Major Pettigrew's Last Stand. Wonderful. Really? Okay. It sounds yes. like you uh, you really loved this book. Dan, this is an excellent book. It's boring as hell. <laughs> I'd start reading a chapter and. Oh, oh, so you didn't like it then? It's not, it wasn't what? working no, great. What? No, no, I loved it. Uh, okay, I'm <laughs> not sure I understand. It, it sounds like the book put you to sleep. Right, yes. I would pick it up, and then about three pages in, I'd be asleep. Perfect book to fall asleep to. I give this book four out of five snores. Oh, all right. Yep. Uh, no. <laughs> well, oh, there, yeah. There. And uh, <laughs> you love this book because it caused you to fall asleep. Yes, That's Dan. This is one of the best books I've read all year. And the only reason I didn't give it five snores is because somewhere right in the middle, something eventful almost happened, and I had to read seven pages before I fell asleep. Uh-huh, so the book was terrible, and that's why you loved it. Yeah, seriously, Dan, even talking about it right now makes me want to take a nap. <laughs> Snoresville, best book of the year, terrible. I loved it, it was awful, buy it today. <laughs> All right, that's this week's book review with yes, Julie Whitner. Yes. Mm, get it. Perfectly <laughs> clear, yes. <laughs> In business news, Borders Bookstores has announced it is closing all of its retail locations. It's been a long and diff difficult fight, but today we can finally claim victory, said a spokesman for Doctors Without Borders. Yeah. Then, setting their sights on their next target, they immediately changed their name to Doctors Without Bed Bath & Beyond. I, for one, am rooting for them. And finally tonight, the annual Comic-Con convention is this weekend in San Diego, or as some very disappointed parents call it, the only weekend they can get their 30-year-old out of the house. <laughs> That's it for this edition of the Acme News. I'm still Dan Gain.
surface so we can get a good spot at the beach. Hey, bro. You want to do something today? No, man. I just want to relax around here. Oh, I miss you too, baby. I'm just heading over the hill to my audition to Culver City, and then I'll be at your place. Babe, I, I don't think you're going to make it to Culver City. Didn't you hear the news? Schofield.
Ladies and gentlemen, Jocelyn Schofield. Once again, Acme Comedy presents Real Weird Laws of Oregon. So are you going to hook up with Tracy this weekend? Well, if all goes according to plan, that is a definite possibility. Yeah! Yeah, yeah! <laughs> Gentlemen, did you know that in the state of Oregon it's illegal to predict the future? No. Well, it is. And if all goes according to plan, I think that you're going to jail! Didn't you just predict the future? Uh. I'm going to jail! Yep, that's a real law in Oregon. Tell me, Kate, what is it you wanted to see me about? Well, sir, I've been meaning to ask you. Um, I've been struggling a lot at work. Yeah. And, well, frankly, in life. And you're one of my mentors. And I was hoping, motivational-wise, that mm -hmm. you could give me something, maybe, maybe your secret on how you're so successful. You know, I'm glad you asked me that. There is a secret, and I'm going to tell you what it is. Great. In life, what you do is you get a waffle and you hang the waffle right in front of your face, but just out of your reach. You're speaking metaphorically, of course. No. What do I have here attached to my head? Uh, it looks like some sort of uh, apparatus or appliance. Well, more like an apparatus. And there's a, a long pole with a chain and a waffle attached to it that's hanging in front of your face. Precisely. <laughs> I love waffles. Okay. Do you understand? Yes? No, sir, I I'm asking you about motivation. I don't really care much for waffles. Okay, um, think of it this way. What is your favorite food? Um, soup? <laughs> soup is no good. Um, I love waffles. Mm -hmm. The waffle is always there. Tempting me, moving me forward, will I ever consume of its spongy goodness? Oh, so I think what you're saying is I need to have my goals always in mind. And for you, a waffle is a sort of living metaphor. No, it's, it's not a metaphor. It's, it's a waffle. See, every day I commute to this godless job in this ridiculous office where we do our nonsense work. And every day as I drive in that car and that commute, there's a waffle right in front of my face. And as the car is moving forward, I keep thinking to myself, maybe I'll get closer to that waffle. But I never do. But I never let go of that idea, never. Never. I love waffles. All right, so the waffle is sort of an allegory, a symbolic totem. It's not an allegory, no. Um, you should see me at the gym on the treadmill. I'm like a crazed <laughs> ferret. <laughs> Every three hours, my wife or my secretary comes in and they blindfold me and they change my waffle for, uh, and put in a fresh waffle. <laughs> they never allow me to consume of the old waffle. Never. They are under an express written agreement. A legally binding agreement. No matter what I promise them, no matter what I say, no matter how much I cry, they never give me that waffle. Never. Hmm. Never. I love waffles. A 2 p.m., okay. It's 
Sir, I, I think there's got to be a better way. Well, for several years, I did try hanging a spider behind me. <laughs> <laughs> but at that time, I used to answer the phone by screaming in abject terror, and I ran through a plate glass window <laughs> on eight separate occasions. I don't recommend it. I hate spiders. I love waffles. I've been married to the same woman for 18 years. For 18 years, I have never cheated on her. Never. I have never cheated on her. When we have sex, there is always a waffle hanging there right behind her head. And the motion of our sexual congress creates sort of a pendulum effect. And that waffle moves toward me. Oh, oh, oh. And just, just when maybe, no, 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 no. Our animal thrusting sends it towards the horizon. And away, away. Will I ever know it's taut, crispy, waffly flesh? Will I? Will I ever? Will I? Will I? Will I? Will I? Will I? Will I? Sir. Sir, I... You are using a lot of words. And they are very expressive and, 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 and interesting. But I, I just don't see how this helps my particular struggle. I just don't understand. And I, I'm, I'm going to think about it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hear, hear what you're saying. And I'm going to think about it. And, and I really I thank you a lot. <laughs> decision we've ever made here at People Magazine. Oh, excuse me, sir. Here's your mail. Oh, thank you. Hey. Uh, wait a minute. Don't I know you from somewhere? I don't know, sir. I, I mean, I guess uh, there's a small chance that you may have seen me starring in the multiple daytime Emmy Award winning show Passions, where I played Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. <laughs> Honest, hardworking. Irish Mexican police officer who bitterly blamed the cranes for, for taking his brother and his father away from him. Yeah, that's right. Uh, why are you delivering my mail? Well, before I uh, landed a very lucrative modeling career that took me throughout Europe, which eventually led me into acting, I, I always had this great dream, which was to deliver mail to High powerful profile magazine executives like yourselves. Just a hobby now. So. Anyway, you guys have a great day. I'm Galen Gehring. <laughs> All right, so where were we? The 50th person 
on the 50 most beautiful people list? Yes, I, I think this is difficult. It's very difficult. I mean, this person isn't just going to walk in and help us make the decision. You know what I mean? It's, it's a tough choice. I mean, we're going to really... I, uh, since you two are here, I figured I'd get your mail as well. Thank you. Thank you, Caitlin. Thank Not as much. Uh, hope you don't mind if I stay. I just... I get a certain rush out of watching my recipients open their mail. No, that's, that's fine. <laughs> Whew, is it hot in here? It's like a boiler room, huh? Do you mind if I take it down a notch or two? Ah, <laughs> uh, heck, why don't I just play on through? <laughs> We just aren't looking. Hi. Just, uh, in case you guys are thirsty, I brought you some water. Oh, I am. I am thirsty. You know, I'm not thirsty. Maybe you are? Yeah. I'm kind of parched. <laughs> So there's 25 guys, 25 girls, half and half, you know, uh, I don't know, tall, dark, and handsome, I'm thinking, uh, dark hair, classic looks, uh, I don't know, do you two have any suggestions? Hey, guys, I seem to have lost my pants. Band, man. 